Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I want to talk about two things, heat tape and PVC enclosures and what I think is best for them as far as heating wise. Anyways, if you could like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for all content. So basically, here's my thoughts on it. All right, so I have three uh, Dubia enclosures. Each of those enclosures, the bottom and sides, back, everything is 3 8 inch thick. Okay, so they say rule of thumb with the ball python is to, when you put your heat tape on the bottom, is to make sure that you put, you know, basically one third or a section to accommodate for the hot side, and then, you know, it should carry through. Well, PVC, that's not the case. PVC doesn't transfer heat that good, and you gotta remember it also has to go through the substrate. So after a few months of testing and everything else, I've come to the solution, and this is only for 3 8 inch. I'm not talking about half inch or anything else. This is why I recommend Dubia uh, and the 3 8 So what you need to do is, instead of focusing on that one little section, what I do is, like for example, my four by two by two enclosure of Abigail's right here. I have a 21 inch piece that is three feet long. So it covers all the way across and the heat balances itself out as it goes out through here. The other two that I have up here, which will be for future projects coming, my unveilings, I did the same thing, but these are 36 by 18 by 18. So what I've done was I got, I believe it's it's 12 inch by two feet. So instead of using one third of the enclosure, the bottom lit, uh, the bottom width or whatever, I'm, I'm doing three quarters of it. So with that being said, the heat is equally, you know, balancing itself out where when it gets to the cool side it's staying around 80 to 82 degrees 83 you know for the cool side and I think that's like very important to know because you know a lot of people think that you have to have a radiant heat panel and radiant heat panels cost way more than heat tape does and I've tested this I've had and I've had these two enclosures running for going on four days now and I can literally take my heat gun and I can go all the way across from the hot side to the cool side and my temperatures will go from 90 to 92 on the hot side. It will work its way down to the uh, mid 80s until it gets to the cool side, which is around 80 to 82 degrees. I've tested it and people swear that, that you cannot put heat tape on the bottom of PVC enclosures that radiant heat panels are the only way to do it. Well, I'm here to tell you that it can be done. And by, do, and by, by all means, I'm 100% proof positive of this and I'm gonna show you here in just a few minutes what I'm meaning by this. So I've watched countless videos. I've read countless articles that say that PVC does not transmit heat good. Well, that's true to a certain extent. Like I said, most of your PVC enclosures are made by uh, made half inch thick. So you gotta think about it. You got a half inch plus your substrate, two to three inches of substrate. So there, that's, you know, it's gotta work its way through. Plus if you just put it like on one third, let me get this camera over here, put it on one third, then you're only gonna get you know that one section right there so I've come to the realization and tested this and tested this and tested this I use since this is three feet like I said I'm using and it's uh, 18 inches wide I'm using a 12 inch wide piece of heat tape two feet in length so that's basically like I said three quarters now what that's doing is and I'm going to show you here just in just a few minutes what it's doing is it's literally Think of it this way, like with your hot side, when you have your uh, your hide there, it's gonna trap the heat. So, and that's where they, you know, your snakes stay for their warmth and everything else. When they want to thermoregulate, they'll go to the cool side. Okay, so it's same thing for the cool side. It, wherever the hide is sitting, that's where the heat is gonna stay. 
So with this enclosure here on top, the hot side over here is, if you check underneath the hide where the snake will be, is around 90, 91, 92 degrees. As you go across the enclosure, the, the heat itself starts, you know, gets it simmers down, gets lower and lower and lower until you get to the cool side. And then that's where the thermo, you know, the thermo regulating can begin as they go across. It's no longer hot, it balances itself out. It'd be the same as, you know, like, let's say you have a wooden enclosure. I've, I've never had a wooden enclosure. I'm just gonna use it as, as an example. The heat would literally, you know, balance out and spread evenly. And that's what you want to do with heat tape. So I swear by this. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody thinks. If it's working for me, then it's then I'm sticking with it. And I've been testing it, testing it, testing it. So what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna get this real quick. Hang on one second. Okay. So as you can see, this is my hot side over here. So I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna do a test. You got 87, I haven't got it turned up yet because I'm still, you know, testing this out, blah, 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 and everything else as far as with my heat tape and everything, uh, I'm getting everything regulated. Okay, if, as you go across, you will see a dip in temperature. It goes down to 81, 78, 79, and then you go up under the hide right here, 80. 80.1, 80.2, that's on the cool side. So that's balancing itself out, like I said. And they say, they say that that's not, that PVC is not good for heat tape, or to use heat tape with, that it won't regulate it good. Well, I'm here to say that it can be regulated. You just have to, what I'm doing is working. Like I said, I'm using three quarters of the bottom of the, of the enclosure, as you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not up underneath here, but anyways, you probably can't see it. Uh, I have the heat tape, which is starting right, right in here, and I have it going all the way to right here. That's literally three quarters, three quarters of the bottom. And I just did that on video and showed you how the temperatures went from basically 88 89 degrees to uh, 80 degrees and that's that's perfect uh, internal temperature stand it's about uh, 80 it's 80.3 degrees right now internal temperature and my um, humidity is at 70% now I don't have any snakes in here yet uh, like I said that's coming this week Trust me, you don't want to miss this. That's why you definitely need to like, share, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe and turn on those notifications to Awesome Snakes. But anyways, I just wanted to throw that out there. I know that this is uh, not a big edited thing, yada yada, everything else. But you know, I'm doing my best. Um, my PC's down at the moment. I have to get it fixed. Eventually, once I do, I'll start doing editing on the PC and everything else. Right now, I'm just using my cell phone which you know it's good enough it's working but anyways i just want to throw that out there like i said just think about it wherever your hide is sitting that is where the heat is going to build up the most because heat rises so if it's sitting underneath that hide all that heat will trap inside that hide and it will stay inside there that's why they always want you to check temperatures up under the hide because that's where you know they're at all the time you don't want to burn them up also, one other thing I want to mention, I run the probe through the side of the enclosure and I bring it and I put it under the substrate. I don't tape the probe itself down. I come about three inches out from the probe itself and tape it down with HVAC tape. That way the probe doesn't have, you know, that way it can not be stuck to the bottom of the uh, enclosure and give a false reading it's reading the actual substrate if I were to take that probe and put it in between the, the heat tape and the bottom of the enclosure and sandwich it together for one it's gonna leave a, a like a little gap for the air to get in and then for two it's already gonna reach its temperature and 
begin to do the cooling session, you know, hot, and then let's say I set it for 102, then it's by the time it reaches that, it's gonna like with my um, with my ink birds, they you can do fluctuations plus minus this. I got mine set on plus two minus two, so it's just you know the probe being on the inside. Look, that's another thing they say do not do it. Well, I do what you want to do. I'm just telling you what I do and what works. So just you can take my advice. Like I said. And like I always say, I am no expert. I just do what's best for my, I just do what's best for my snakes. Sorry about that. Y'all have a good one. Take care. Thank you.